3D viewport, and then we play it. Whoa, whoa. You might be wondering why the Ranger is standing in front of the 3D modeled version of Explosive News Network, or also that the size comparison's all over the place. That's because we have a quick announcement to make. Mad Hen House has, well, no, not recently, uh, split up into four different channels. You have Mad Hen Plays, where you have all the, the, the Let's Plays, they're going to be exclusively there. The Hatchery, which has the Slab Lounge podcast and any rant. Uh, Mad Hen Animations, where all of our animations are, go are going to be stored. And the Base Channel, where, you know, the tutorials and shit are at. If you like what you're watching, please hit that like that. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you also enjoy this unscripted nonsense, and don't forget to share. Because if you don't do any of those things, keep in mind, I'll find you, and then I'll verbally pee on you. Alright, let's do this. Welcome, game developers and moderators, to Doc Teaches Blender. Yes. I know I said last week that I'd actually, like, you know, color this in with Yuka Paint, but then I figured you already saw the Yuka Paint tutorial in action, so I'm gonna create some water. Um, to do that, what we need to do is first we need to add in a plane. So let's add a plane. Plane, where the hell are you? There you are. Where the hell is it? Oh, okay. I'm just gonna move it on the Z. So I'm gonna hit G, Z. And now, what I can do is I am going into modifiers. Not for this. No. There we go. Modifiers. And I'm gonna add a modifier. And under physics, I'm going to go ocean. Not for what? Nope, no fluidity. I'm also going to extend this out because I really want to do that. And see, the reason why I wanted to show off how to do ocean is because we're going to actually have this as a looping animation. So to do that, one of the reason, one of the things we could do is so the. Yeah, the resolution and the render, I'm just going to up to, like, something like, I want to say, like, say 20 a piece. And then, what we can do is, under waves, yeah, we got to, we got to screw with the time, the time, and the scale. Size, we can just, yeah, okay. Uh, so, to do the so we want to make sure this thing looks hecka realistic i mean where's the timeline ah that's a good question huh that's weird what the hell's the timeline i'm just gonna go back maybe it's in the layout oh, yeah, there it is. all right so ah. and wait there's modifiers the modifier there you are so now I'm going into time. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm gonna keyframe this at one. I'm gonna leave it alone at. Yeah, at one. And then I'm gonna go to the end of the timeline. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna up this to like ten. And I'm gonna keyframe that. So, but here on scale. I'm going to leave this at 1. Oh, no, I'm going to put this at 0. Excuse me. Put this at 0. I'm going to keyframe that. And then, is it shift, right? Yeah. Put this at something like... 2. Yeah. Um, I wonder if there's anything I'm missing. I could have swore there was a step I'm missing. Maybe it's the size? Uh... No, I don't think so. It, it doesn't look right to me. But whatever, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. This is just uh, supposed to show off a looping animation. So what we need to do now is we need to duplicate this in order to have it looping properly. And then what we need to do is we need to make sure... Um, we need to revert... We need to double this, and we need to revert this. So let's do that now. I'm just going to click on this little arrow to... Um, Collapse everything. Then I'm going to click on this drop down here, right here, and duplicate it. So this way we can have, so this way we can just, yeah, screw that symbol. So 
under generate, I'm going to click that, I'm going to click on displace. And then from time, I'm going to double this. So that means on the, I'm going to hit shift left to go back to the first keyframe. I'm going to go here. Oh no, I don't need to, I don't need to screw with that because it has to start from 10. So I'm just going to keyframe this here and then shift right. I'm going to double this to 20 and, and keyframe that. Boop. Uh, do you want to screw with the size? Not really. I mean, how do we want to do that? That would make the ocean small. That's stupid. Anyway, uh, here we got to revert this back to, to whatever, to 2, 0. So I'm going to keyframe this at 2. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keyframe this, but this time I'm going to revert back to 0. And boom. Should I do one? You know, I'm going to do one. Yeah, I'm going to do one. Boom. Ah. And then here, I'm going to do the same thing. Well, yeah, I'm good. No, it's fine. Are you sure? Yeah. Now, it's not going to be fully... What I mean by that is, if we come to the end... I'll go to the end... We see it's not, it stops. We don't want that. We want this to loop. So in order to do that, we have to go up to here. <clears throat> but it is here, right? Yeah, we gotta go to, Oops, be graph editor. Now, if you can't, just select the thing, probably not. I have to select the thing. Graph editor, where are you? There we go. So as you can see, we are we have, we see all the nodes. If you can't, if you don't have them, just uh, if you don't have them highlighted, just hit A, and all of them will be highlighted. And the reason why we're doing that is because we have to make this we have to make sure this is a linear interpret interpolation. So there are two ways we got. I usually like to just right click and go to da, 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 interpolation mode linear, and we have everything set back to linear. So let me just go back to the three D viewport, and then we play it. What are you doing? I have no idea. That's a pretty shit loop. Eh, it's fine. Besides, so what we could do now is... Hey, hey! What we could do now is we could scale this. Why are we... Hey, hey, hey! Undo. Scale. Now, I'm going to move this, G, uh, and then G, and then G, Z, and then, uh, I want to say this is a little... G Y, yep. G X, yep. And, yeah. And now we can just play. Nice little looping thing. Except, are we gonna shape this? That'll happen. That'll happen next time. Oh really? Yeah. This is. I just wanted to show off how to get the. That's not good. Well, I'll just up the scaling. You sure about that? Wait, what are you talking about? I just don't like. G, X, G, Y, scale, no, there we go. You know what else I'll do? Like, we're going to screw with this type map some more. Why? Uh, let's go with this Colton. Um, uh, what are you doing? So just bear with me here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Expand this out. I'll share the string to zip max. What are you doing? Shut up. Just, 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 just bear with me here. No, you have to explain what it is you're doing. Uh. Well, if you must know, I wanted to try to make a waterfall. Oh, really? Yeah. 
as well as like have some fluids. The fluid surface thing, that's a pain in the ass. Really? Yeah. So I'll get. Let me just. And that. That kind of looks like a huge nut. What? <laughs> anyway. Uh, clay thumb. Where? Uh, oh no. What the hell are you doing? Alright, all like, this lack is a waterfall. Are you sure? Yeah. Just, just for shits and giggles. Because that means we get to fuck with particles as well as do something with fluid surface. Ow. So, what, are we done? Uh, well, for now, yeah, because next week I still have to show you how to touch this fucking thing. And that involves... What, you're going at... Yeah, just go to Yucapink. No, this actually calls for the node system to be used. Ow! You're actually going to use the nodes. Yes. <sighs> yes, I am going to use the nodes. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is essentially show how... Because one of the... Because... What's that? It's... So this, if I hit... Um, I can't rid of that. I can't get rid of that. Brother, let's just hit J, because that's the... Uh, J. What's... The, wait, what is buck... What is buck tie? That is how to get foliage up and running. And I downloaded one of the free asset libraries that Blender has to offer. And I'm just going to show off how to, like place vegetation in your in your terrain um so that way yeah you just do all, uh, all that ah wow, that's cool yeah but that won't happen but that won't happen for a bit so in the meantime like seeing as how i got the fluid surf the fluid surface the ocean thing up and running uh we can pretty much end it here at narrator and there you have it.